Base launch check during countdown net. Pad is clear. Ten, nine, eight. Launch auto sequence seven, has started. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Go for launch. Separation confirmed. Stage one is transonic. Landing legs have deployed. And Falcon 9 has landed. You're watching the 50th Starlink mission and SpaceX's 166th mission overall. Teams are currently tracking no issues. Weather is looking good. We only have a 5% chance of violation for that weather. As you can see, it's a beautiful blue sky day at Cape Canaveral. The range is green and ready to support liftoff just four minutes from now. As you can see, TE retraction is underway in preparation for liftoff. Stage one, locks load is complete. And stage one, Poco. Falcon 9 first stage is fully loaded with RP-1 and locks, and we're awaiting completion of the propellant load on second stage. Expecting second stage prop load to complete in 24 seconds. Stage two, locks load is complete. Falcon 9 is now fully loaded with 1 million pounds of fuel and liquid oxygen. Launch gas closeouts has started. Today marks the 13th flight for this booster and the 100th time SpaceX has reflown a Falcon 9 first stage. Falcon 9 is in startup. Falcon 9, Starlink LD is go for launch. T minus 30 seconds. T minus 15 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition. 
and lift off. Stage one propulsion is nominal. Vehicle pitching downrange. Supersonic. Super Falcon 9 and Supersonic traveling past the Kingdom of Sound. Max Q. Falcon 9 has reached Max Q, the maximum dynamic pressure it will feel during flight. Back engine chill. In just under 30 seconds, we'll have main engine cutoff, or MECO. Main engine cutoff. Stage separation. MVAC ignition. Bearing separation. As you can see, the fairings have deployed, marking the third flight for these fairing halves. We will attempt to recover the fairing halves using our recovery ship, Bob. Everything continues to look nominal for the first stage on the left-hand side of your screen, as well as the second stage on the right-hand side of your screen. As you can see by the acquisition of signal, Bermuda. As you can see by the stage telemetry there, second stage is now at an altitude of nearly 160 kilometers.
As a reminder, today's payload is for SpaceX's satellite internet constellation Starlink. Both vehicles on a nominal trajectory. As you can see on the left-hand side of your screen, first stage utilizing the grid fins in order to prepare for re-entry. Everything continues to look good for the second stage, now traveling at a speed over 13 kilometers per hour. 13,000 kilometers per hour. about 10 seconds away from stage one entry burn. Stage one entry burn startup. Stage one FPS is safe. Stage one has ignited three engines to slow it down for atmospheric re-entry. Stage one entry burn shut down. Both stages continue to follow a normal trajectory. Stage one transonic. As you heard, the first stage is now traveling near the speed of sound. Stage one landing burn. Stage two FTS is saved. Stage one has ignited one engine. Terminal guidance. Landing like deploy. Seco. Loss of signal, Kate. Acquisition of signal, you found. Nominal orbit insertion. As you heard, we had a good uh, orbital insertion for the second stage. Everything continues to look good for the Starlink payload. We were expecting to hear a call out for a successful first stage landing, still waiting to confirm.
stage one landing confirmed. And as you just heard, we were able to confirm the first stage landing on our drone ship. With that successful confirmation, that was the 100th landing of a Falcon 9 first stage, the 50th overall Starlink mission, and the 28th launch of this year. With that, we will conclude the webcast. Thank you for watching, and be sure to check SpaceX social media for confirmation of Starlink deploy.